Hello everyone. This video is an introduction to perfect frame and imperfect frame. Let us have an examples for both. Yes. A frame is said to be perfect if it can resist load without any displacements or deformations. Mathematically, it is m is equals to j minus r, where m is number of members, j is number of joints, r is equilibrium equations. That is three. For a perfect frame, the condition m is equals to j minus three must be satisfied. Yeah. Now, see this triangle, which is said to be a perfect frame. Let's check whether it is perfect or not. Here we have one, two, three, three members, and one, two, three, three joints. So, by substituting m is equals three and j is equals three, the equation m is equals to j minus three is satisfied, and it is a perfect frame. Now, a small load is applied. and you can see no deflection in the member so it is a perfect frame next coming to imperfect frame it cannot resist the load and deforms its shape mathematically the condition m is equals to j minus 3 will not be satisfied for an imperfect frame if m is less than 2j minus 3 it is called deficient frame If m is greater than 2j minus 3, it is called redundant frame. Here, we have a frame, and let's check whether it is perfect or imperfect. Look at this frame. In this frame, we have one, two, three, four, four members, and one, two, three, four, four joints, and the condition m is equals to j minus 3 is not satisfied and it is m is less than 2j minus 3 so this can be called as a deficient imperfect frame <clears throat> next look at this frame in this here 1 2 3 4 5 6 members 1 2 3 4 four joints and the condition m is equals to j minus 3 is not satisfied and it is m is greater than 2j minus 3 this can be called as redundant imperfect frame so finally A frame can be perfect based on the condition m is equals to j minus three, and but remember that the members of the frame must have enough cross section to resist the loads.